Chief Meteorologist Craig Setzer of our CBS station in Miami, WFOR, is tracking Matthew. Craig, we've seen a big shift in its track. How did that happen? Yeah, we did see a big shift. Uh, Matthew Category 4 storm moving to the north. And the shift is because the computer models that go into making that track also shifted. In fact, they shifted very far to the west. Pretty high confidence we're going to see the storm continue to move north over the next couple of days. The Wednesday night, Thursday morning position here moving across and out of the Caribbean and into the southwest Atlantic here through the Bahamas. But now South Florida potentially threatened as the cone and the shift went on to the west. Also, this westward shift is now potentially impacting the southeast U.S. Remember, the cone tracks where the center is expected to be, but the storm much bigger than the cone there. You can see it there with the tropical storm force winds extending well outside of the cone. If it follows the center of the cone right there, South Florida could see tropical storm force winds by as early as Thursday, and hurricane watches could go up tonight across parts of the Florida coast. There was that big shift, and once again, the models could shift back to the right, but right now we're going to be watching it very closely because that shift to the right also could have downstream implications maybe for next weekend in the northeast U.S. Christine? Well, Craig, regarding that um, potential imp Im impact to Florida, what are the chances, if any, I know it's hard to predict, you know, and say for sure, but what are the chances of it actually taking a sharp right there and completely missing the U.S.? Well, there is, yeah, there is still that possibility. And so hurricane hunters are out there tonight. In fact, uh, the, the National Weather Service and NOAA, they're throwing about everything they can to gather data and as much as possible to learn about the storm and to influence what the models are doing. In fact, uh, this plane flying out there right now, it's a high altitude NOAA G4 aircraft. It's dropping instruments in the atmosphere because we really want to know what the steering currents are up there and all that information will go into the computer models. The computer models will hopefully get really good information in and give us a really good forecast out. That, of course, would be a track away from the U.S. right now. Too early to call. All right. I'm sure you're in for some long days ahead, Craig. We wish you well. Thanks for joining Thank us. You.